Hey guys, in this lesson I'm going to show you another vector exam question. So we've been given a parallelogram, O, P, Q, R, and they tell us that O is the origin, S, O equals O, P, so this line is equal in length to this one, and because they lie on the same straight line, we know they're parallel, okay? We also know that TR is equal to RQ, so this line is equal to this one in length, and they're also parallel because they lie on the same straight line. And then here it says ST to TV equals 2 to 1. That just means that the length ST, so here, is made up of two parts, and the length TV, so this part, is made up of one part. So if we travel all the way along this line, there are three parts all together, and the ST part is made up of two, okay? And this part is only one. So we've got one, two, three parts here. We also know that O to R is equal to vector A, okay? And that's labeled on the diagram here, okay? Here's O to R and vector A. And finally, O to P is equal to vector B, okay? So just this part here, is equal to vector b. So a few things we can add to the diagram. We know that this parallelogram is identical to this one because remember the lengths of these lines were equal and we know they're parallel to each other because they lie on the same straight lines. So if this line here, OP, is vector b, so is this line here, SO. Also the line TR and also RQ. So if you like, you can add that onto your diagram, okay? So this is also vector B, so is this part, and also just there, okay? Notice how I'm drawing an arrow each time. Remember the direction of a vector is important. So if you're traveling from the bottom to the top, it's vector B, but if you were to travel in the other direction, so against the arrow from top to bottom, the vector would become negative B, okay? If we look at vector A next, we can see when we travel from left to right, that's vector A. So we also know the line P to Q is also vector A. Okay, remember they're parallelograms. So this line is equal in length to this one and they're parallel to each other. So you can pop that on as well. At the bottom, we have another line that's parallel and the same length, ST. So this is also equal to vector A. And then the last part here is a little bit more difficult. Remember, this line is only one part, whereas this line ST is made up of two parts. So it's half the length. So instead of writing vector A, we can write a half A. Okay? So it's still parallel, but it's half the size. Okay? So now our diagram is labelled fully, okay, as much as we can. Let's have a look at these questions, all right? So for part A, it says find in terms of A and B, in its simplest form, the position vector of T. So when it says position vector, that just means from the origin to the letter T. So O is the origin. So we have to work out O to T. Okay, so here is O on the diagram. And here is T. And it doesn't matter which way you travel to get to T. So you can travel this way, or you can travel this way, or if you like, you could travel this way. Whichever way you travel, as long as you simplify your answer, your answer will be the same. Okay? I'm going to travel this way via S. But like I said, it really doesn't matter which way you travel. So I'm first going to find O to S. Okay? So along here and then I'm going to travel from S to T. So for my first part in this question, I'm just stating the direction in which I'm traveling. It's not essential, you don't have to do this, but I do think it's useful to write this down, especially when the questions get a little bit more difficult. So O to S, well, this is B, but only if we're traveling in this direction. Because we're traveling downwards against the direction of that arrow, it would become negative b, okay? So we can replace O to S with negative b. Next, if we look at S to T, well, this one's really straightforward. We're travelling with the arrow 
and we know from s to t it's just vector a so it's just plus a and that's the final answer okay so we've worked out the position vector of t okay so next we're going to work out r v okay so r is here and v is here and remember it doesn't matter which way you travel to get to v as long as you simplify your answer you should get the correct answer i'm just going to travel the shortest looking way so this way okay so i'm going to travel along rt to begin with and then along tv and rem remember you don't have to write um, this part down where I state the direction but when the questions get a little bit more difficult this becomes very useful so RT we can see already this this side here is labeled with vector B however we're traveling against the direction of the arrow so this is negative B okay so you can replace RT with negative B first then if we travel along TV this is also labelled on the diagram. Remember, we labelled this at the beginning of the lesson. TV is equal to a half A. And we don't need to change the sign because we're travelling in the correct direction with the arrow. OK, so it's plus a half A. OK, so that's the answer to part two. Now, in part B, it says, show that PT is parallel to RV. Well, RV, we just worked out up here. OK. It was minus b plus a half a. Okay, but we haven't worked out pt anywhere in the question, so I'm going to work that part out next, okay, so I can compare the two. So remember, it doesn't matter if you travel this way or this way to get from p to t. I'm going to travel along this side first, so I'm going to do ps and then plus st. Okay, so P to S, if you look carefully, we're travelling against the arrow of B two times, okay? Here's vector B and another vector B. So it would be negative 2B, okay, for P, S. Then, to get from S to T, well, that's just a nice straightforward one, it's just A, okay? It's labelled here, vector A. Okay, so plus A. So, we've got the vector here for PT and also for RV. Now, if I just write them again here, so they're right next to each other. Okay, so PT is minus 2B plus A and RV is equal to minus B plus a half A. It's always handy, if they're not already in line with each other, to just line up the Bs and the As. Okay, so that's, if that's not the case in your answer because you travelled a different way to get from uh, P to T, just switch them round. Don't change the signs of the letters, but you can just swap the order, okay? Can you see that RV is exactly half of PT? Okay, if you divide this by 2, you get negative 1B. And if you divide A by 2, you get a half A. Or, if you prefer, the other way around, if you multiply this by 2, it gives you PT. Okay? So, what we're seeing here is that they have the same direction, but they're different sizes. So, if you can see that one of them is a multiple of the other, it means that the lines are parallel. Okay? So, they're not necessarily the same length. Okay? So, these are not the same length but they're in the same, same direction, okay? So we've proved that the lines are parallel to each other. What you can also do, just to uh, finish up the answer here, you could say PT is equal to two lots of RV, okay? Just to show that this is a multiple of RV. And that's all you need to write down.